There's been some significant activity in the Mercedes-Benz High Power Charging Network project, enough so I felt as though an update was warranted. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. First off, as mentioned in last update, Mercedes-Benz suspended the sale of electric vehicles in North America. And I posed the question on to LinkedIn whether or not that had any implications for the high powered charging network project. And Sebastian actually works for Mercedes Benz High Power Charging, and his response is no, we're still forging ahead. We just released new press releases, and the Mercedes Benz High Power Charging Network is proceeding. The word behind the scenes through the grapevine is that they're waiting for new upcoming models because the EQ line of um, electric cars was not selling very well in the United States. So they just cease taking orders and they're waiting for the next round of electric vehicles of which it, the IAA Auto Show in Munich uh, just recently the uh, GLC model was showcased and the thought is that that's really going to be a market winner judging from the reviews that are coming out of IAA um, recently. So once that gets into the market they'll start selling electric cars again in North America and things will pick back up but uh, by all accounts, the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging network is unaffected through those transitions. But the big press release is right here. They released during the same week that they are going to be doing uh, 600 kilowatt charging using Alfitronic HYC 1000s, both in uh, Europe and North America. Now, the United Kingdom has surpassed 30% um, electric car sales. So Europe is starting to accelerate in the electric vehicle adoption curve, much more so than the United States were stagnating as a result of having the federal subsidies getting ready to be pulled. We actually had a very good August, uh, jumping up to about 9.7% elect uh, fully electric cars, I think is the uh, last number for um, August. But we're expecting a dip as a result of federal subsidies getting removed. So there's a lot of buying frenzy leading up to that. And so we're just a smidgen under 10% here in uh, the United States. Uh, Canada is kind of its own animal. Regardless, Mercedes-Benz is very bullish on charging. And 600 kilowatt charging is coming via Alpitronic HYC 1000s. So I'll put the link to this official press release down below in the description. And that is really the big pivot point here that we were using HYC 400s, but we are soon to be seeing HYC 1000s with 600 kilowatt capable dispensing. Now Mercedes-Benz, you can see the GLC on the license plate right there. They're expecting this to be a uh, market, a, a segment leader. So this is really what's gonna be able to take advantage of that uh, faster charging speed. And they like having a uh, premium uh, charging stations for the customers who buy their cars, and then they also make them available to everyone else. How did, my car only tops out at about uh, 155, <laughs> so we could charge many of my cars on one of these things. But apparently, the uh, newer Mercedes will be able to take care and uh, take advantage of the 600 kilowatt charging. So something to look forward to. Pretty soon, we're going to start to see these things uh, showing up. And from what I understand, the holdup on the HYC 1000s, a lot of people are going to be using for MCS deployment basically a uh, long haul truck refueling with the MCS handle going up to, um, I think it's uh, 1.2 megawatt on the HYC 1000s for uh, MCS handles, but you could put a CCS handle on it just fine and do 600 kilowatt charging all day long. And that's where this press release centers. Here's another one where one of the AMG uh, spec cars was able to get a megawatt from one of these HYC 1000s. As I mentioned, they are capable of it. Um, so um, if you wanna drop a big bag of coin on an AMG and we get one of these prototype uh, HYC 1000s in the mix, you'd be able to charge at a megawatt and be super cool. The new map is basically unchanged from the last time. And if you want to see this map yourself, you just go to plugshare.com and filter just for this icon right here, which is a filter icon. And you'll see all the Mercedes-Benz locations. Up here, we've got some construction updates, which I'll get to in just a second. Upper East Coast, which is generally passed over for main um, CPO build-out. But Mercedes-Benz seems to 
have found a little niche up here and multiple stations are coming in the upper east coast you see we already got two open and we got four on the build list and just so you know these pips are actually put in by mercedes-benz so this is not speculation this is not permit spotting these are confirmed stations that are coming you can see red bluff over here is uh, on the map as well and uh let's go ahead and uh, get into that this is the total list of open stations there's no additional uh, updates to this since the last update really the big um, news since the last update is the press release of 600 kilowatts coming via the HYC 1000. If you want to see which locations that are at Bucky's have Mercedes-Benz HYCs uh, or have uh, Mercedes-Benz charging from uh, Alpitronic, you can go to the Bucky's website and filter on it that way. Or if you want to see which ones have Tesla superchargers or both, uh, you can do it that way as well. Starbucks build, only one known, but uh, we're going to start to see a cascading increase of these according to a interview with Andrew Cornelia on the Coast to Coast um, YouTube channel hosted by Steve. They're going to have 15 locations every 150 miles on I-5 and it says live by the end of the year. I don't know if that means that all of them are going to be live by the end of the year and obviously not because we would have spotted them by now, but it looks like one, maybe two will be live by the end of the year and it looks like the Red Bluff one will be completed it looks very close to being completed i'll show that here in just a second welcome pricing of 40 cents per kilowatt hour okay let's get into construction updates this is clarksburg maryland north west of washington dc we got alpitronics in the ground we've got the post to the ground uh asphalt looks like they just need to paint the lines light the transformer i don't see a transformer over there i don't know if it is there or not probably not and uh, maybe some landscaping or something but it looks pretty ready to go Kittery Premium Outlets in Maine, no less. So I think that's Interstate 95 north of Boston. Uh, so this is uh, to a degree of construction, which is beyond this point because this photo is a little bit dated. Grabbed off PlugShare. I could not find the user who posted it, but uh, Rhythm Premium Outlets in massachusetts we've got albitronics spotted on the ground with the iconic mercedes-benz high power charging wraps this is southwest of boston north of providence rhode island hillsboro texas is still not open uh, we're waiting for this to open it's been a long time coming i'm not quite sure what the holdup is here but uh, likely very soon probably just a delivery of energy from the uh, uh, power company transformer getting lit and commissioned and all those fun things. Normally, Texas goes a little bit faster than this, but they've seemed to have hit a snag. Lastly, Red Bluff, Colorado. This picture, courtesy of Eric Way from the News Coulomb channel on Interstate 5 in the north north portion of the state, or known as North State in um, California. We got two Alpitronics for a total of four stalls at a Starbucks off Interstate 5, as promised by Andrew Cornelia. Looks like it's getting ready to uh, go through. And you look at these people over here, I think that's actually the transformer install going in the background over there. And uh, that's all the update we have for this time. Um, keep your ears close to the ground, because I would expect the Mercedes-Benz high-powered charging is primed for multiple station additions uh, opening up in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching.